What's up, everyone? I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day. And if not, I do hope it gets better. I would like to say thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video. It means a lot to me and I do appreciate it. Now, if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing here and you wouldn't mind continuing to help support not only me, but the channel as well, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button and also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you will never miss out on any of my future content. Now, today, we're going to be talking about if Midnight Suns made the right choice being single player. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a real quick video and I'm gonna start this off by saying multiplayer. Multiplayer is fun, but don't get me wrong. Single player games done right can be absolutely downright amazing. The best selling single the best selling superhero game of all time is a single player game. Now, the idea of Midnight Suns being single player did strike a couple of people in the heart because a multiplayer RPG can be tons of fun. There are tons of them on the market, but it can still be a lot of fun. People can play with their friends, have a good time, all that jazz. Now, most people, I would say, were definitely expecting it to have a PvP system due to the aspect of being able to create your own decks with multiple characters and even being able to create your own character instead of using some of the other heroes. I even did two videos way back when about if the game needs PvP and how the PvP could work. And one of the closest examples that I could give that people that people would understand would be marvel strike force pvp because that game has real-time pvp where both players play out their full turn before it switches anyone could say that pvp can add longevity and depth to a game they are right but only if the pvp works because there have been instances where pvp could actually make a game worse by a sheer number of things poor balancing neglecting pve over pve or vice versa right it's a mixed bag essentially is what i'm saying i don't feel like pvp is needed but if it's added i won't complain at the very least i feel like we could take comfort in the fact that knowing fire access has done pvp before in their games so i don't think it would really be an issue for them not being able to get it done if they ever choose to go down that route later in the future now, in terms of co-op play, it's here where I start to sway off more to the side of this game was better off being single player due to me not really being able to figure out how something like co-op could work normally in this game. Things like having people each bring in their own teams of heroes to take part in various missions. Some issues with that for one would be the map size, right? It's not as wide and open as the XCOM maps. These fights take place in a more condensed area, which was the intended design choice because it's meant to further push home that feeling of the enemies being trapped on the field with you, not the other way around. Another issue would be that that's way too many heroes on the field. It's way too much going on. And plus it would like just think about how long it would take to cycle through everyone's turn because what is three times four? That'd be 12 heroes on the field at once. That's a lot on the field and it's totally not needed. Sidebar, I did have an idea where two to four people could play together. It would They each would have their own team and it would be like a raid situation or revolving door kind of thing. In a raid like mission, each team would have a selection of rooms for them to pick between and enter and it's their job to clear out that room so every team can move forward to the next floor or area if one team dies another team can enter their teammates room and attempt to win where they failed if they don't they are reset but if they win they get to move forward to the next section or area or whatever you want to call it back on topic now even if the game is single player right it's stock to the ceiling with content a normal playthrough a normal playthrough is around what 45 to 60 something hours and that's not even counting the end game because out of some of the people that i've actually got to play and review it i think they ended what they ended up putting a total of 70 something hours into the game and they didn't even get close to finishing everything in a playthrough and when i say everything i don't just mean the story i mean everything so content definitely won't be an issue plus we have more on the way as well right the fact that you won't be able to do everything you can do just about but you won't be able to do everything in one playthrough so running through the story again will be needed like for example farming relationships with the heroes that can't be done 
now the game is single player but it definitely has the content to back to back that up right so it's not gonna feel dry it's not really gonna feel empty there's gonna there's gonna be plenty of stuff for us to do as we wait for new content to roll in and so on and so forth so in my honest opinion with pvp really being the only thing i would consider budging for single player just might have been the best choice for midnight suns and that is perfectly okay let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this was the game being single player the right choice or should they have gone with multiplayer pvp or pve well co-op pve let me know how y'all feel down in the comments below and if you if you've enjoyed the video please remember to like share and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you'll never miss out on any of my future midnight suns related content and i will catch y'all in the moonlight peace Trying to live life, pull it to the club with the bottles on ice. Need it back in, but the end of the night. I'm an artiste and a social light. Now I do a big, trying to live life. Pull it to the club with the bottles on ice. Need it back in, but the end of the night. I'm an artiste and a social light.